Hey, buddy. Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And we are in the zombie spawner, which uh, doesn't work anymore. Well, it works. It spawns zombies, as you can see. Boop. Hello, Mr. Zombie. But it only spawns zombies now. It does not spawn zombie villagers. So this is a little frustrating. Um, they made a change, whoops. With uh, 1.11, that they gave the different variants of zombies, like the husks, their own uh, ID. And uh, yeah, so as a result, zombie villagers are different uh, are different ID. They're not the same entity anymore. So uh, I don't have a way of getting new zombie villagers out of the zombie spawner, which is a little frustrating. Hey, buddy. Uh, this guy fell down in the mob spawner, uh, which is, uh, he was super cute wearing his little chainmail armor. And so I decided to get him out of there. It was a bit of a pain in the butt. He got loose. I wasn't recording. Uh, but uh, I, I dragged him in here. He picked up a rail that I was using to move him around. So he's not going to despawn, but I named him anyway because I thought he was cute. Hi. So, enchanting table. Uh, <laughs> if you remember the enchanting table set up right here, it was super in the way. I moved it over here. It's still in the way. So I may move it again, but you know, at least I have an enchanting table set up down here. So. We're gonna do something today. Um, do not enter. Look at this. Hi, this is Mr. Smith. He's a weapon smith. He does not have particularly great trades. Um, and I dug out this area. I don't know if I showed this or not. Part of it, I started it probably. So this is a one chunk area. We do this. Look, exactly one chunk. Uh, is not a slime chunk. That was very important. <laughs> so, I dug out this area, and we have uh, space. I'm gonna build an artificial village down here. I've got potatoes all planted. I've got Mr. Smith. Hi, Mr. Smith. I've got areas here to put in doors. So this will actually work. Or should work. <laughs> I have to test it. Uh, so I've got room here to put in five, two, three, four, five sets of doors on three walls in set one, so it's 14 per. And as a result, um, I could get up to 200 some doors in here, 200 some houses, which will get me quite a population of villagers because this is supposed to be a villager breeder. That's the idea. So let's uh, let's go try. I need another villager, and I still have stuff set up here to to do that. So let me get the other villager in here. I need a brown coat, and I have a guy up here that I've already not you. I do not want to move the farmer in just in case something bad happens. Mr. Fletcher, hey dude, hi. Yeah, so let's go, uh, let's get some stuff and let's get him moved. Hang on a sec. Boop. All right, so I've got this guy here and why are you not connected? There you go. And I need to place a rail back there. There we go. And if I do this, oops, this is, this is a little tricky. And I find it useful to turn on hitboxes, so I can do that. Yeah, come on out. Oh, no, 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 back in, back in, dude, back. Um, huh. Oh, perfect. Okay. Jeez. Hi. Let me turn off the hitboxes, because they're kind of annoying. Hi, Mr. Fletcher. Hi, Mr. Smith. Okay, so I've got the villagers in here. I'm not going to get them out of the mine carts just yet because, um, yeah. Oops. Yeah, put that down. I need to change all this flooring anyway. 
Uh, I need to block them in, and then I need to set up the vid vidge. So let's, uh, I've got this here. And I'll fix up the, uh, his little holding, whoops, ah, his little holding cell after I'm done here. But the idea is, boop. So this will become a village with the doors here. And the center of the village should be roughly here. It'll be offset a little bit, half a block, but that's okay. Uh, and and with a couple guys in here, one of them being Mr. Fletcher, being a brown Oh, look, he sees the potatoes and he wants to go farm. Patience. Patience. And then, uh, then what I'll do is put in some doors. I'll actually turn it into an actual village. That's what counts as a village. And in case you don't know, a door placed is counted as a village. It checks each door to see if it is a village by the presence of villager. And if there's more sky access blocks on one side than the other, it checks within five blocks. So all this counts as roof and this counts as outside. So if it can see a door and say, oh, there is an outside and there's an inside, that's a house. And then that house, if there's a village nearby, if there's a villager nearby, that house then uh, counts as a village. And I can put in, as I said, I can put up to 200 doors in here, which means over 200 houses, which means I could get a total of 210 doors is the number, and I think that'll support up to 73 villagers. The number of houses determines how many villagers can be in an area. Um, and it's the number of doors times, you know, 0 0.35. So 35% of the number of doors is how many villagers can be supported by a village. If there are fewer villagers than uh, doors or than houses, um, then the villagers, if in the right condition, like they have food and, and whatnot, and the village reputation is efficient, sufficient, I believe the village reputation plays into it, they will decide to breed. So, uh, so they will breed and the, and then they will make little babies. That's what I'm after. I want more babies. I want a cartographer. <laughs> this is all, I did all this so I could get a cartographer. Yeah. Okay. So now the range of the village from I think the edge of the village, which will be here, boop, um, it checks to see what villages are within 16 blocks, which I think is right here. And it, it looks three up and five block, three blocks up and five blocks down. So these, th those guys are too far. These six are actually in range of the village. So they will actually be residents of the village complicates things a little bit oh this here is to get villagers out like so if i if they do breed a cartographer i can put him in my cart and get him out of here and get him up into a cell sorry carol um workspace stall whatever you want to call it so let's uh let's get some doors and i have i have a fair number of doors i don't really need these anymore though do i and so how many doors i want to control the number of villagers i don't want a ton of villages in here um, although i built the capacity to create quite a few so i'm going to set up one row of doors on each of the three sides to force the center of the village to be here the reason i wanted the center of the village to be inside the center of the chunk is because i will have just enough villagers with these doors to uh to spawn iron golems i really don't want iron golems running around so if they spawn they will spawn inside of the center 16 by 16 area of the village and since the village is only 16 by 16 they will spawn in the center here they will spawn somewhere inside this chunk inside the the, the fence which is what i want okay so now this is technically a village these guys are here and this guy wants to go farming. Don't you? I bet you do. So let's, I'm going to put the hitboxes back on because I don't want to hit this guy. Right? But I want to get rid of the cart. Ah, without hurting him. And he immediately goes for the doors, of course. Oh, perfect. 
because it's dark it's nighttime that's fine now one thing one of the reasons I want to manage the number of villagers is because if I get more than 20 villagers in here it can trigger zombie sieges uh, zombie sieges are bad um, there uh, they got added into one of the 1.8 versions I think and yeah they're just it's kind of annoying because what it is is that if there's more than I think it's, if it's more than 10 houses and 20 villagers although naturally naturally you're not going to get 20 villagers with just 10 houses whoops turn off the hitboxes thank you and um, so I, it's, I don't know why the, the 10 houses counts but if you get uh 20 villagers if I got 20 villagers in here including these six right so if I get another 14 in here um, then after around midnight like about now in the middle of the night if I was anywhere near this village or in it it's not entirely clear the the wiki's not clear at all uh, or in it then uh, zombies could spawn with without oh ah uh, oh hi oh dear how are you okay so either these guys are already breeding which i don't see any babies or more of these guys are counting towards the village population than i thought um but that you can only get a golem if you have 10 villagers so i've got two in there at least these six there have to be another four so maybe it's these two or maybe those guys up there are counting maybe they're not as high up as i thought okay well we'll just have to keep an eye on it so the the zombie sieges are annoying uh the zombies will spawn with without regard to light level which is unfortunate um and it makes being around the village at midnight kind of dangerous and other people come down here and use the uh the villager area so I'm my goal is to try and keep the uh, keep the villager population down to the point where zombie sieges won't happen. So if I get a second uh, iron golem in here, that's potentially a, a problem. Hey guys, so, sorry about the accommodations. I know it's not great in here. Let me uh, let me give you some food, okay? You want some too? Okay. You can pick it up, dude. There you go. Hi, Mr. Fletcher. Now, this guy has never seen farmland before. So, I'm just... I'm going to give him a bunch. They need food in order to be willing. Did you get it all? Yeah, okay. You want some more? I've got more. Uh, and they have to be willing. Basically, they have to be well-fed before they want to breed more villagers. Uh, and the Mr. Fletcher here will, uh, he'll, you know, he'll go farming the potatoes. Thank you. And once his pockets fill up, and he'll replant, right? So he'll harvest and then replant. And once his pockets are filled up, he'll start throwing potatoes at the other guy. So eventually, I mean, it'll they'll, they'll become well-fed and willing on their own. But not one I uh, I want to sort of encourage the situation so that when the sun comes up I should have a bed down here I should have a bed down here okay I'm gonna fix that right away um, so when the sun comes up then they should come out and they should start saying hey there's only well I thought there's only <laughs> there's only like eight of us and there's enough doors here um, with the doors, let's see, I made some notes. With the doors that I have here, um, should, should support a village population of 14, which should keep us short of the 20 to generate a second iron golem and also, uh, the zombie sieges. So, uh, let's see, and then I need to do something about in and out here because I really don't... I don't want these here. I don't want somebody coming along and 
taking a look and saying, oh, what is this? Let me go in here. So I need to, I'm going to put a sign back up and we will, um, I will put an extra layer of uh, barriers or something. I'll get rid of the fence gates. Again, I put this in so that I can get them out on a rail cart. And this works. This jumps. They pop down here and ride along. And um, and the, the half slab there, they can go through. But it prevents them from jumping up and getting out that way. Uh, and then the fact that it's a jump here, it's not even connected. What was that? Huh. Uh, that the, it's a jump. It's not even connected there. Nothing can get in over this way. So that this works. It's super simple, but it works. Okay, guys. Why are there potatoes? Oh, Mr. Fletcher. You're throwing potatoes at your friend here. Maybe he didn't pick them up. Maybe he's full. Well, he picked them up. Okay. Hey, guys. Oh, yeah. It's daylight. Sun came up. Yeah, play with the doors. Huh, okay. Alright, so this is just a waiting game at this point. But, uh, now I have to be super careful not to hurt any of the villagers in here. Because this guy, this guy will go medieval on me and kill me, and it's not fun. So, that's why, that's what this is. So, I need a way of getting rid of the villagers I don't want. Which seems kind of cruel, but, um, and I have been traditionally dumping them in lava, but I decided to do this. I think this will work. Pop this down, push a block into their head. So I put them in a rail on here, push this down, push a block in their head, and, uh, they will suffocate to death. And because I didn't hit them, I didn't go smack them with the sword. Hey, Mr. Fletcher, look at this, all these potatoes. You were so eager to go farming before. Okay, you can check out all the doors. That's fine. Oh, okay. I've got some introvert villagers, it appears. Hi, there's... You're all alone in here. And this place is boring. It was meant to be boring. You should spend time outside here. Okay. Oh. So, the one thing that I'm assuming is correct in the wiki, and that I will be keeping an eye on, is that the glass blocks up here count as sky access. They are fully transparent blocks, so they should. Um, and these guys are opening doors, so I think this does indeed now count as a village. I don't have the... There's a there's a mod that will show you sort of the center and radius of a village. Um, I'm going to look into that because that might be... That might be useful. <laughs> oh. Are you both in here now? How'd you close that door remotely? Okay. Well, I'm going to do some cleanup here. Obviously, we just need to keep an eye on this. And I need to try and keep away from here at night. But a bed will help with that. So, I'm going to go clean this up. And and we'll, we'll check back in a little bit and see what is happening. Other than me destroying everything. They're outside. And they're talking to one another. <gasps> and the golem's there to protect them. Okay, guys, you can do it. Look, it's a bright, sunny day. You've got a wonderful view. Oh, they just had a fight. Okay. Okay. 